So Biden gave a interview yesterday, and I found it to be hilarious. I just wonder what kind of pompous moron he truly is, because it's obvious he's pompous, and it's obvious he's a moron. Only someone as pompous as him would sit there and go on to a investigative news site that works online and claim that the problem is the internet and that people go on the internet and don't know what's real as if we are all fucking idiots who can't use our brain. It's like, no, the problem is that just like as usual in this country, we have a huge amount of people who are encouraged not to use their brains. They're not, they're encouraged to just use their emotions, to be angry, to blame it on other people. And that's what Biden is hoping we will do. Sits there saying, oh yes, you know, he's best positioned. No, no. You are making the same fucking argument as every toddler. You're saying, oh, it's my position, so I want it and no one else can take it from me. That's what you mean when you say that you're best positioned. You mean you're already the president and you figure it's your right to be the president still. Which is hilarious because that's exactly the same thing that Trump was saying. Fucking moron. So good job putting yourself in the same boat as Trump. Piece of shit. Alright, and let's talk about your other problems there. Like the Supreme Court, you fucking moron. Okay, with the Supreme Court, how the hell can you sit there and claim that the Supreme Court's going to uphold the rule of law when they've already broken the rule of law time and time and time again? And you're going to sit there and be like, they didn't actually break the rule of law. And this is how they get precedent set to destroy our fucking democracy, you stupid piece of shit. Why don't you take Diane Feinstein's example and die for us already? Just go home and pass away quietly in your sleep so everyone can just finally get the fuck past you, you stupid piece of shit. And that's really the issue. You're too old, too out of touch, and you just don't give a fuck. You think you deserve it. And that is exactly why you shouldn't be fucking running, you stupid piece of shit. And I love it too, because yesterday was also Jimmy Carter's birthday. <laughs> the exception that proves the rule. Jimmy Carter actually tried to use the presidency to come out and make some bold statements about what our country needs to do, and he got fucking screwed over for it and turned into a pariah in the media, even though everything that he said is extremely popular. Everything that he wanted to do is extremely fucking popular. So you tell me how you guys are following what the fucking American people do and want you to do when we tell you what we want you to do over and over and over again and you guys ignore those polls but you sit there and go oh well you voted for me so you must want me to do whatever the fuck I want to do and that's what Tr Biden is really saying to us in that interview he's saying you voted for me so now I get to do whatever the fuck I want to do just like Trump just like all of them stupid piece of shit